It's estimated approximately 8.5% of men in the UK are... Okay. Hello, my name is Megan Ruth. I'm a Canadian living in London, United Kingdom. I've been here for a few years and I love sharing my life here in London with you. So I came across this BuzzFeed article the other day and it was people are sharing things that are socially acceptable in America but horrifying in the UK. That was the title of the article. And I love BuzzFeed articles. They're, they're just fluff and you know, you can't take them too seriously or anything, but some of them are fun. Some of them are fun. So I went to the article and I read that, but I thought I'd also go to the Reddit thread as well and see what people are saying. It's interesting being a Canadian reading this because Canadians have a lot of similarities with the States. Like a lot of our culture is very, very similar, if not identical to the states compared to the UK. So I'm gonna see what is in this thread and see if I can relate to some of it. If you did want to follow along with my journey here in the UK, I do post all about British culture and my life here in London. So if you did want to subscribe and like this video, I would love you forever and thank you very much. So I'm on the, the Reddit thread now and um, it was actually posted by Town Immediate 9060 eight days ago and I'm just seeing seeing what people are saying. I love how the first comment is, as a Canadian, reading these comments make me feel like two of my foreign cousins have stopped by to chat and I totally understand both of them. Great Saturday night read. Thanks, cause. I can feel like I relate to this. I, it is like two of my cousins sharing a conversation and just kind of understanding both of them. It's, I understand that. Well done, AB from Que. Oh, ah, Ab from Quebec. Ab from Quebec, that's what that was. Yeah, well done, Ab from Quebec. So the first one is cashiers being forced to stand. Yep, I, I, I see this actually, because in Canada our cashiers stand, and I have been a cashier many a time back in Canada, and I stood for hours on end. Over here, cashiers don't stand. I actually have noticed that in, in a lot of supermarkets, cashiers don't stand. They do sit down and that is, uh, that's nice. It's nice to be able to sit because you're on your feet for friggin' forever, I feel like. Well done. Cashier should sit. Always horrified by the ads, both the content and the reoccurrence. Bloody hell, all your TV has like an ad a minute. Yes, this is the same in Canada. We have a lot more ads, like television ads. I don't feel like it's the same over here. It's not as crazy with the ads over here, but back in the States and Canada, wow, ads are plenty, let me tell you. Greeters in supermarkets. I don't feel like Canada has these. I know that's a thing in the States, but I don't feel like Canada has greeters in supermarkets. Do they? Maybe they do. I can't remember. Oh my god, have I not noticed them? I don't think they do. I can't remember. <laughs> This is bad. Stores showing the price pre-tax. Yes, this is very true. This is one of the biggest things that annoy me going back to Canada. Going back to Canada, the sales tax is not included in the price on the shelf. When you go to buy something, the price on the price tag is not the finished price because it doesn't have tax included. It's so nice being here in the UK and just in Europe generally where the price you see is the price to get. There's no hidden fees, nothing like that. It says two pound, it is two pound. That's really nice. <laughs> I love this. As someone with terrible math, shopping in the US stressed me out so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that person. I'm terrible at math too, and math, sorry, too. And I mean, I never really thought about it, to be honest, I, it was just kind of, I guess when you grow up in that kind of culture, you, you, you do learn to expect it and kind of have an understanding of what it's gonna be like at the end. But uh, if you're not used to it, I completely understand. The pain. When my American friend said I was double fisting because I had another pint before my other was finished. <laughs> I thought he meant something else entirely. Yeah. I, I did mention double fisting in my uh, Things Never Say to British People video a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's just a classic one. Because double fisting, again, over in the States and Canada means you're drinking two usually alcoholic beverages at the same time. Over here, it absolutely does not mean that at all. It means something totally different. Let's see what else is here. Naming your child Randy? Wait a minute. What's wrong with Randy? Actually, I'm gonna Google search this. Randy in the UK. Meaning. <laughs> okay, 
Good to know. Did not know that about Randy. I knew about Fanny, but not Randy. Because Fanny means something completely different over here as well. So that's good to know, Randy. <laughs> Cool. Commercials advertising prescription drugs. Yes, this is true. Um, even in Canada, uh, Canada, we uh, have a huge commercial drug problem. Pain says you can't. Advil says you can. Always advertising drugs. Ask the doctor if Oxycontin is right for you. It's a thing. To be honest, I don't own a TV. I don't really watch TV too much over here. If I do watch something, it's usually on Netflix. So I wasn't aware of that until pretty recently. But yes, Canada does have a lot of commercials advertising drugs and in the States. Huge portion sizes. Kids meal in the US is like an adult meal in the UK. Yes, this is true. I'm um, not for Canada. Canada's portion sizes are pretty normal, pretty equivalent to the UK, I would say. But yeah, the States has a huge portion size problem. It's kind of crazy that you'd go to a, a fast food or takeaway place and a soda cup could be like the size of your thigh or something. I don't know. Politicians mentioning religion when campaigning. This is very much with the states. This is very much a state thing because in Canada, that would never happen. Canada is a very secular nation. It would never mix religion and politics like that. Even our conservatives don't do that. That is purely for the state. Iced tea is a big one for the states, not so much in Canada. Canada's tea drinking is very similar to the UK. We have hot tea. We love our hot tea. The states has their interesting adaptation of cold sugar tea, which is kind of gross. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a couple more. Making tea in the microwave, that's an obvious one. That was also in my video of things not to say to uh, British people. So that's a classic, classic American thing. Definitely we do not do that in Canada. It's a sin. Driving everywhere. Yes, 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 this is so true. The states have a fascination with cars. Their transportation system in the US is not that great. Canada's isn't too great either compared to the UK. We kind of have it similar in Canada. People do drive a lot um, compared to walking. I mean, that it ha has also to do with the fact that we just have a lot more space to get around because, you know, Canada and the States have bigger land masses. But yeah, it's a lot more common here for people to take transit and walk. It also has to do with the, you know, the UK's transportation system is just really, really good. <laughs> Especially compared to the States, but also compared to Canada. All right, so last one of the day. I'm just going to pick one at random. Da -da 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 -da. The first one I saw is, um... Something that happens to boys when they're a baby, and um, it just, uh, it's not really common over in the UK. It's more common over in the States and Canada. I, I do, <laughs> it is common over in Canada. Not apparently common over here. So that's interesting. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick Google search. It's estimated approximately 8.5% of men in the UK are Okay. Very interesting about that. I've never really agreed with it, to be honest. I don't think it's right to mutilate a baby, but that's just me. Okay, well, on that note, <laughs> we've gone through a lot. It's been interesting being a Canadian looking through all that because a lot of them were specific to the States, but a lot of them were interchangeable for Canada as well. I don't know, what do you guys think? What, what, what do you guys think of all that culture shenanigans and stuff? Well, that is it for me. Until next time, bye. <laughs>